Hello, right, hello, YouTube land. My name is Wildboy569. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. We're picking off where we left off in the last episode, and we are think with the Yuri shirt on I have, I think we're gonna choose a Yuri rap for this time. I was spinning everywhere. It's disgusting. I'm sorry about that. So we're gonna do a Yuri rap, so that means she likes Taurus. So we're gonna do a four. Uh this oh shit. I clicked one too early. Uh death. Shit. Uh I go. Hold on, redo that one. I was gonna redo that one. Here we go, let's try again. There we go. There we go. There we go. How about that? Oh, that was like that. Shit. Okay, hang on. Hmm. Oh, Sierra jumping in the way. See that? Uh. All right, I think we're good. Oh. There we go. I think we got your Okay, here we go. Enough the day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've got a little more comfortable over here in the cast couple of days, and during a club room, usually seen greets me. Hi, Colton. Yo, Shiori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to being in a club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple, simple thing to get to get you in a good mood, but I guess it's always simple things to go with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. What? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't you why don't you take a look why don't we take a look at your purse, Diori? Eh, why is all that all of a sudden? No reason really. I just wanted to look at, at it. <laughs> she already nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the light and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets it consist bill on her desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> uh, I knew it. I can see it right through you, Siori. That's not fear. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before going to the club room. So either you're not hungry or wanted the excuse to take a walk. Or you plan to give me for getting you spent all your spent all your money, so I wouldn't send you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. I saw that leaves me one option. Yeah, give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ha ha ha. Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face smiled in the book at all eyes. Ah! I wasn't listening or anything. I was just something in my book. Yuri! Tell her to let me borrow some money. Sounds like fucking Candace from Honey Pop asking for money. You want money? Go get me. Go buy, Go ask Mr. Beast. That's. Don't give me a bottle like that, Sierra. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after burning that machine, a little stunt like that, you're suffering very very rich. Ah! Did I just? I didn't mean that. I got too absurd in my book. Uh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It does ha it doesn't have much of it's the front side of you. That's there's no way to think like that. So you were right though. I did something bad now how this just the revolution. Re re retribution. That. Still, coming from you, Stiori. I guess there's a little devil inside of all this, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Story knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing the in the club before she even told me. But you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I have to trick not to be making them. Come on, give me credit for one more than this, Yuri. <laughs> Whoa! Forgot to scare the shit out of me. Yeah. I don't know where Sari smacks in the middle of the face and tumbles. Ow. What was. Eh? A cookie? Sari knows it was giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sari glances around. Is, there, is this a miracle? It's because I paid my resolution? Retribution. Actually, that's almost. That one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you love about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction to Ah, ah, ah Silky! That's so nice of you! I am so happy! Siri hugs the cookie. Please just eat it. Siri rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a bit. Oh, God! Mmm! Ew! Ah, I beat my tongue! <laughs> you're going through a lot of that just over one cookie. As he takes a bite of one cookie. Oh, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Geez, beggars can't be choosers! But your cookie is chocolate. 
Hey, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy you shared this with me. Yeah. Sorry, gets out of this, out of her seat and goes behind us and then wraps her arm around her. Yes. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still hand out to get reaches and I'm sorry, Alfred. Um. Sorry, sir, at least down, take it about good nasty piece cookie. Hey! Did you seriously do that? Yeah. <laughs> Mouth full of Sarah Tarts went to safety. Yuri and I left as well. Geez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Siori? Eh? That's a good answer around. Monica is in the club room. Ah. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any have you heard anything before? Not me. Yeah, I don't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably had something to do today. She's probably she's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she she has a uh -huh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us could buy. Aha, uh -huh, that's true. Excuse me? There's only the door swings open. Sorry! I'm super sorry. Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. Aw. You're still wrong, will it? Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica twists the glance at me. Never mind that. What held you up anyway? Ah. Well, my last degree today was study hall. To be honest, I'm kind of just lost track of town. Ah. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard all. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you could play piano music as well. I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should probably it's sometime for us, Monica. Dad. Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That's gonna come at the end of the game. It's gonna make me break down crying. Yeah. That's so cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case. I won't let you down, Cole. Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, oh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I really love to chase the steer once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I choose to leave, leave, see, I choose to leave out to your business. I'm sure not to give up a plate to her anyway. It looks like everyone has settled down. Sorry, so I finish her entire cookie. Yuri's back here. Look, Nasty disappears in the closet. Really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more, but at the same time, I would feel that distracted from reading. Catch a glimpse of cover, but it looks the same book she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Ah! Uh, I think she knows me looking at her. She sneaks another glance around me and her eyes me in a split second. You're right. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in the book. Sorry. It's just spacing out. I muttered this since I had made her uncomfortable. Oh! It's fine. I would, if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just re-reading a bit, so... I'm going to all the way up to... Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, that's better. That's the book you gave me, right? <laughs> I wanted to reread some of it. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come you have two copies of the same book? Ah. Well, then I, I stopped at the bookstore yesterday. And that's not... Ah, oh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. I see. There's something familiar obvious when Aunt Larry's telling me. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very encouraging, reliable story. Is that so? What's it about, Yuri? Well, hmm. Yuri closes the book and scans around the back. The book is titled Portrait of Mar Markov. It's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I didn't actually give you give you anything away. Basically, it's about a girl in high school who moves with her long lost young sister. But as soon as she does, she life is really strange. She gets targeted by these people who are escaping to him in a current prison. While her life in danger, she is desperate she shouldn't trust. No matter what she does, she's done to find most of her relationship with the rest of the small part. That's kind of it's kind of dark, isn't it? You hear me? It's not like she's going to be a nice story, so that dark came out of nowhere. Ah, you're gently giggled all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing? No, it's uh, I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kind of things, so don't worry. I hope so. She's so shy and reclusive from the outset, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at from a life of strange perspective. When horrible things happen, not because we come to be evil, but because they have their own ways of closing us off and believe it. And suddenly, when you thought you would relate to the protagonist, they're made to be a naive one for not letting the one side of the interview with the villain's plan. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again, I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then, but I felt like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things spoken right in front of my thoughts, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. 
And please stop me if I'm talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club after all. Ah, that's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? You don't have to. Uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the bug into my bag. Alright, it's not if I sit here, right? I slip next I slip in the seat next to yours. Ah, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not used to. That is reading company with someone. I see. Well just tell me if I ain't distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start to roll out. I still don't understand what Yuri means about the reading company. It's the two foot puts my shoulder as I read. It's not a particular bad thing. Maybe just a little distracting, but the fell in someone's company. Yuri comes to the corner, which I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry! I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do. I don't actually really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk up to hers and jerk. Oh, do that. Ah. I suppose so. You're attempting to close her own copy. Once we le lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to open the book. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Oh, this beautiful mistake. Gary takes her left arm and holds the left side between her thumb. Ah, uh, I do the same thing when my arm right side of the book. So I turn the page and Gary slides her thumb onto the flip side. But, look, but in holding like this, we're huddling even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting what it look like if I... Ooh, that's cool. That's cool, I like that. Da -da -da. Are you ready? Eh? They turn the page? Oh, sorry, I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over here facing in our armies. I don't know I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah. That's okay. Oh, that little cute little smile. You're not used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient. It takes a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me? Yeah. Thanks. We continue reading. You no longer asked me for ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assumed she finished the page before me, so I turned my own violation. We continue to read the first chapter in silence. Even turning pages almost for the examine exchange. My thumb gently lingo the page later further as she catches down to her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be silly, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you in a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more of a blunt in a lot of ways, but she also thinks against herself the things she does. Looks like she's afraid to do something wrong. It's not like I can see, see in your head. It's not like I can see in your head or anything. But they kind of run a miss of something in your manners. I see. You remain silent for a moment. But Colt, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing you think you think that. Wait, I didn't mean it like that in the bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about this sort of thing. I guess it's more men of kind of cute. Ah, uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? Uh, okay, everyone! Eh, I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might have enough time if we might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah, Yuri excels for finishing but Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry you haven't been looking forward to this. Ah, uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her thumb of the red cause and the glove of my thumb. Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or before I read it with you. Um, I guess I don't have much to make preference either way. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to reread that so it picks up the bit, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the re finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright, I stand up. Make a mental note where I left off the book and I slip through now in my bag. Time to read Pump. We're gonna start with Yuri this time. Let's see what you've written for today. Mmm. Mmm. Gary stares at my phone with a surprising expression on her face. Do you like it? Colton, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Because yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why you did a good job explaining it. I really wanted to try to give it a more imaginary. Your business swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Your reasons like her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she seeks all off her patient with her. Yeah. I'm just being appreciative like this, I guess. It probably sounds stupid, but if you see something motivating, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying that you never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really, I don't believe it. I don't, I've only written right for myself. And besides, people who people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. 
Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share my phone with your book today? Yeah, I do. If that's with you. If it's with you. The raccoon. Happen in the dead. Ah, I was a little more daring to this one yesterday. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if my small body can be in range with the palms about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my perfectly right side. Using the palm as a canvas to express my vehement energy make the most of them. Yeah. If I take anything about, I can't figure out what's going to supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate in their own way. I want to express it that way it feels more than usual, obviously. It's those sort of things I usually force to keep myself up, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Because they're embarrassing, and people will make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, Cole? Well, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. That's the best we can do, respect each other and our own individuals. Even if it's difficult, sometimes some things makes us uncomfortable. After all, if I didn't have to learn to embrace my old weirdness, I would probably hate myself. I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Let's do Siori. Actually, let's, do, uh, let's go backwards and do Monica. I ain't eat cookie in the house to ride you on. Alright, I guess. Yeah, I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote? Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Mm, Alright. Great job, Colin. I was going to go ooh in my, I was going ooh in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, why, but I did expect to go some deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easy for me to pick, keep everyone's expectations low. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Aha! That's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know, Yuri likes this kind of writing, red writing that's full of imaginary symbolism. I like to see she uses a simple script. Yuri likes to read with the divider on being other. It's very challenging to write efficiently. Both are allowing people to get just out or land them deeply analyzed in that book. We take practice to assume at the point. Never really asked though. I'm not sure I'm sure I'm sure I'm nowhere near your level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Just keep exploring and trying to do things. But anyway, you wanna read my book now? I like this one. That's what I hope you do. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. Oh, there's Load me. I like that. Load me. Hmm. It's even more abstract than the last one, huh? Uh -huh. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like that. No, I never said that. It's just kind of a thing I never really seen before, I guess. I like kind of playing where you people choose and whether there's space you can totally see them in the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote my lines to sort myself really like to speak their own noise. I see it. It's still hard for me to tell what's the writing, though. Aha! Uh -huh. Sometimes asking what a poem is a real question, right? A poem can be abstract or a conversation with the reader. Damn. So put it that way, you never read something. Anyway, here's Monica's right to name number two. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When it comes, don't forget to save your game. You never know what might change your mind or when something expected. What is this even tip? Wait, was this TV even about writing? What am I even talking about? Haha, -ha, that's my advice today. Thanks for listening. Let me save. Just be honest, save. Let's do Ciara. Oh, I like this one. It has some nice feelings to it. I'm glad. Does this mean it's better than yesterday's? Let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> that's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go with my heart. It makes me feel like things must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. And again, I guess Conworth feeling is pretty important the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah. Me neither. Uh, why don't you? Why don't you at least give it something to some thought? Oh, you want to write something? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Ooh, well, I don't really know what you mean, but what you mean, but I'll try to keep that in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes a little bit of both. 
That's a word for it, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things where happy things are happy and sad. Happy and sad? I can't see something like like that, Yuri. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little more rain cloud, look at a little rain cloud over your head. A step home can help you get the rain cloud a little hug and make a nice happy rainbow. Sorry, that's unexpected poetic. And it is. Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, Colt. I should get I should write that down, huh? You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. Papa, my scalp and the lane and the garden. That's good. Holy crap! Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but I mean I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me taught a hold me a whole lot. And I've been really touching with my feeling recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. You should really be proud of it. Ah, uh, games. I feel like I felt like I was meant to express myself this way. Even it helps me understand my own feelings a bit easier. Writing is like magic. You've got pretty passionate about this. I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Ah, uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Serious, having had. I wonder if it's one of those times. But seeing the passion makes me hard to be honest. Ain't nothing to keep. Hmm. I like yours last. I like your last one better. Eh, really? Well, I can't tell you. You're a little more daring this one, but you're really not good enough for that yet. It feels like maybe it's really you should try something different. I'm still figuring this all out. I mean, I always like poems that aren't trying so hard. I hate when people try to sound so fancy and add more beef, but this usually more complicated. Just make it simple, cute, and to the point. Yuri's head is over here, those are quick nonsense, but I see, uh, I see it right through her BS. Ah, make it, you read it, breaking your reader looks so hard, this is me. I guess that's the one way to look at it. Well, everyone has their own opinion, but my opinion is the best opinion, I'm sure you figured that out already. Uh, anyway, here's my phone, maybe you'll learn something. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy likes spiders. Amy likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. 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 Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It still grows. I'm not I'm going to tell you. That's mean. Not bad, right? This quit a bit longer than yesterday. Yesterday was too way too short. It was just warming up. I was just warming up. Sorry. I hope you did things the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this moment. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues, but it's much simpler along. And I help people realize how stupid they be. Like anyone would agree with the subject of this poem was an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course, it does not everyone how everyone thinks my that doesn't matter. It, it can't be any it can't be any. I wrote it easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Some think that you're afraid if people try to find out they make less of you. But that just makes people stupid. Who cares what what someone likes as long as you're not hurting it? That's true. Absolutely, I think people breathe in the other respect for like more thing. That's true. That's funny. We were about the same thing similar yesterday. Huh? Did you see Yuri? Yeah. She said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers. I didn't really get that really get it, but she said something similar to you. That people should make each other feel better and just care about things. Really? Well, I mean Yuri's pretty weird, I already know how she has some great hobbies. Not that not that there's anything wrong with that. Or it's not like I would judge or anything. As she tries to throw flowers, I guess I should try not to be so mean. Exactly. She feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she learned a lesson. Well, I would say so. Uh, even if a writer's thoughts are different, I'm sure she appreciates the message of your it's, this, it's what I did best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Yeah, the like comforting emotion is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write you a good one tomorrow, so look, write a good one for tomorrow, so look forward to it. Da -da -da. And that's that. Okay, everyone, let's say. Okay, everyone, we're all done reading Recharge Bonus, right? I have some exciting plans, so everyone can come sit in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Do we have to really do something for a festival? It's not like we can put together and do it in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves to getting new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last week's preparation. Don't worry so much. We're gonna go keep it simple, okay? We don't need to do much more than a few decorations. Siri has been working on 
poster is not designed. Okay, that's great. No, but that's what we're actually going to do for the event. Sorry, I thought I could. I thought you heard me already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Ah, perform Monica? We're going to be having our own poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem we collect during the event. But that's cool part is we're going to let everyone else come in and recite poems too. Sarah's going to get all the posters and I ever want to see Sarah in. Ah, Scary, who's better color, who's been coloring posters? Hold it up for a second. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't start putting the stuff you did. Well, I did. Do you really think it's bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I didn't sign up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I agree with not to keep. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine Yuri, imagine you Yuri shake your hand in fear. Guys! No, Siori, I understand what they're coming from. Remember that not to get your ears shared their phones with anyone until just a couple days ago. There's a lot to ask to recite their phones with a whole lot of free food. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. But, I still think we should give it our best. We're the only one responsible for the phase of the club. If we start these events and put each other on good forms, then we'll inspire others to do the same. The more people who perform this better be able to show what you're about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings. Being intimidated with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And those reasons come from club day. Don't want to share with others to inspire them to feel the same for you in the first place. I know I, you do. I know we all do. And if it takes standing in front of a group for two minutes for signing up home, then I know you can do it. That's the years for The already looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think Jerry and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The less we can do will help us a little bit. Well, maybe, but it looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Um, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright, you! Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around him and everyone puts his Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice. That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club of stairs are going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem yours. We're going to practice for starting in front of each other. Now, no way, Monica. This is too studded. Well, if you can't recite it, how are you going to stay through front pages? Oh, no. Don't worry. I'll start up to have everyone feel more comfortable. Can I go next? Aha, of course. Now, let's see. Monica flips her notebook and comes to the She then stands around the podium. The title of this poem is called The Way They Fly. Ahem! Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than a first time. She knows exactly how to apply emotion between each line of green and the words Is this something she's done before? She's definitely natural. I glance around me. Everyone has her eye on Monica. Yuri looks amazed. Yuri has an expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica stands up with a great expect. Four of us Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. Thank you very much. I was just hoping to get set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Yuri? I'll go next. Yuri's fell up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches the sheet of paper and hands to stand up. Keeping her head down, she finally walks over to the podium. Your poem was called Yuri Anxious Lance Yeti Puff. You can do it, Yuri. It's called A Permanent of a Prince and I. Yuri's voice shakes and starts reading the poem. Just a moment, she proudly refused to do it. While she suddenly put much effort. As Yuri just passed a couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happened to Yuri absorbed in love. Her words simply transformed to sharp infusion of the poem is full of twists and tears of reference to Naomi. Naomi's bravery bumps to the right. Yuri keeps constant on her head. Finally, she finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps her back and glances around as she's bewildered herself. I... It's still up to me to save suspicion. I'm the first one to start a plot. Everyone joins in after we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want... It's not It's not that we didn't applaud for her, but we were caught off guard when she must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri hears the palm of your chest and rushes back to your seat. Yuri! That was really good! Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next in. Yuri hops out of the chair full watch of the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Yuri. What the hell? It's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're signing to other people. Imagine you're reciting to yourself in front of me here in your own head. It's your poem, so call come, come out the best way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Jerry begins to perform a poem. Somehow, it feels like the soft voice made was a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Skewer. 
It's there in Fierce Weight. If I were to read this poem, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing the comfort stories gives me a whole new meaning. Maybe this is the theory meant for me to like poems. It's like to get more to something I thought I knew through. Three finishes and we applaud. I did it. Good job, Shiori. And had I even Colton like her, so I guess it's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Shiori. The atmosphere of the poem fits nicely. But if it might be tongue, I know the lyric. I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems that you're simply good with work as well. They might need a little more work depending on what you write. Oh, I know what you mean. That <laughs> Talking too much is taking a toll on me. That's all I've been practicing in front of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> That's ne the next time you make sure your poems a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Oh, okay. Now who's next? Natsuki? <laughs> don't let me go before Colton. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Colt Colton lower everyone's standards before I have to do it. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much selection of what's reading. I'll just go with what I wrote for the day. Stand up in front of the podium. Everyone has set their eyes on me. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident by order to put any energy into it, despite the one I finished, I repeat plot hitting you. Sorry, I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less of your ability to support this than I think I'm ready. That's something that I'm true over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. I'm gone. That's gonna be gradually gets in front of the makes your way to the podium. The poem's called. It's called. Why are you look all looking at me? Because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, this poem's called Jump. Natsuki takes the breath. When she starts to sign her poem, her sour edge disappears a little. When she stands a little under her poem's rhythm and rhythm rack. The Natsuki stream by herself, surprisingly well spoken my lap. The world feels like they bounce up and down as giving the poem. Natsuki finished and everyone's a block. She huffed back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to stay. You better not make me do it again. Well, do you have at least prepared enough to write for our people? I mean, doing it for shit. I can put whatever face on it when I you. But when it's just my friend, it's just embarrassing. That's surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be better if you do it around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so well I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about from festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming though. It might be hard, but I hope you have a good hope we all have like that. Make sure you pick a poem to get enough practice before the festival, okay? I like making plans, so let me know ahead of time when you'll be excited. Jeez. I should probably find some other poems to be excited instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm afraid plays is surprise as you be club. It makes me really happy. Yeah, no problem. Okay everyone! I think about the I think that's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's not try to write a pause for but it's begun it's been work work really nice so far so I can continue that. And so the festival will finish playing tomorrow, then we'll Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find some of this in the stairs even now, but I'll best we can. Thank you to the club. And my friend and then I have to do my best. Ready to go, Siori? Yep. Look at you two are already going home together like that. Always going home. It's next to the kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys, don't make such a big deal out of it. I must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Colt. You don't have to, whatever. Let's just go already. Do do, Siori. I walk home with Siori once more. Even though it's been a few days, it's already things have changed. But today, Siori's been a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Siori. Hmm. Sorry, I was facing out. No wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. Like how we're getting to, I mean, Gary comes with their own words. So let's just stay one day, Yuri, I should walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You kind of like put on the spot there. <laughs> I would still walk home with Siori. Siori, you really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Huh? But she's still beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem totally like you're going home together. I wouldn't just run that for you. You're so silly, Cole. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would des uh, deserve it if she wanted to. Sorry, I've been making it up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point of expecting me to get this one never got to happen? Hmm. The conversation starts to drill off. It's kind of weird Yuri cares so much about. Me, but I wanted to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what happened in time. And we're gonna do this poem thing, and we're gonna end the video right after this. So we're gonna say, excuse me, and we're gonna do Yuri smile. Shit, we're doing Nazi. God damn it! 
God damn it, I don't want to do Natsuki again. Alright, redo that. Do 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 do. Try again. There we go. God damn it. Yeah, I'm fucking up. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, hopefully that'll work out. So we're gonna stay there. And we're gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Uh, check out my social media down below. Love my thought. Thank you guys a lot for watching us again. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, check my social media down below. As always, thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you all in a future video. Take it easy.